the time has come. We are going to tackle the craft room. I am going to organize all the things so that I can give you the tour. I also need to do another haul video because I have a few other bags of stuff. But I didn't want to do another haul video until I've given you the craft room tour because I think two separate times I have promised to not deliver it. So today is going to be the day. Step one, I want to finish these ornaments so that I can get them packed away and clear the tables off. That's more stuff I haul. So that I can pull things out, cluster things together, and get it sorted properly. Now, I will say part of my haul and organization, I went to Dollar Tree and got some more of these bins to finish up over that way. And because I just, I love these bins. These bins are just, I highly recommend these. If you can find them at your Dollar Tree. 10 out of 10, do recommend. I have also picked up this one I was thrifting to put in one of my drawers. Is a dollar. Dollar Tree, because that's my print, you know, to hold my phone when I'm not using it. And then this thing, I also picked up at Dollar Tree because it's for pens or markers or whatever you want it to be, but that's a perfect little size. I don't normally use it yet, so we got to figure all this out. So, wish me luck. I have already been vacuuming. I need a better vacuum down here. That's on my list, but I'll do what I can, and I'll be right back. All right, and as promised, here is the entire craft hoard in one video. So, we have wrapping paper and all the equipment over here and that wreath i also use i take berries off of there but this is the wrapping section okay then on this shelf we have on the back side we have some straws for buffalo check well, well, well. i use those to make picks to put in my tree this year i put them over top of old colored pencils and use floral wire to hook up whatever it was i wanted to put in there to make picks for my tree instead of buying them we have jars of the dollar tree base filler i sorted them out by color that one i did not sort out by color but yeah pom-poms beads old uh thread this uh is old ornaments and the tan underneath is Leaves. Okay. Old ornaments I used to craft. And then we come around. This is my big crafting table. Okay. And then on the front side here. Oh, I should have turned my lights on. Hold on, y'all. Let's get the full effect. Let's turn my lights on. That's a glimpse of this year's ornament. Made some branches. Okay. The front side, we have bottom shelf with all tools. Okay. That's my Dremel. Take them to your hammer. That's a drill. And tools. Okay. All kind of stuff. In this bin, we have a bunch of mesh. And Halloween. And, well, this is obviously pink. That's not necessarily Halloween. But there's that. Okay. This little tin right here, this tin, why is it tin? This bucket, it's projects, it's like ornaments that I will be making and just stuff that I'm going to be doing. It's on my list, I just have not sat down and pulled it down. When I'm working on something, I'll just go grab this whole thing and bring it over and start working on it. So that's why that's like that. We have little glittery stars. This is my junk jar. Um, I feel like Nicole North Garden, if you don't follow her, go follow her. She mentioned having a junk jar where she stores just all kinds of like little bits and bobs that you find and you don't necessarily know what you're going to do with them. But you know you will do something with them eventually. So this is my bits and bobs, my junk jar. This... <coughs> Uh, this is a little thing of bottle brush trees. These are some bells. Corks. And more um, smaller bells. Okay. Then, come over here. Um, I sell some stuff on Poshmark, so you have to have thank you notes. So that's what this little... Those are thank you notes for that. Those are the markers that I use. These are the scissors that I use for cutting um, wrapping paper. Because this, this little table is where I usually do my wrapping. And it's also the table that I will use to uh, do projects that require glue. Hot glue. So my little glue gun stand and my little glue sticks are here on this. My big one that is cordless once it's charged is here as well. And then I finally got one of these electric skillets so that I could plug it in and dip stuff in for when I'm doing wreaths. And I could use a little pellets. I haven't used it yet. I haven't done it yet because I haven't really set up a space until tonight. Tonight is when I set this up, so I'll let you know how that goes. And then this is an old cutting board. We're going to throw away because it, it, it needs an extra them. But I think it will work just fine to hold that so I don't have to worry about it getting anything messed up. So, okay, this drawer, we have bells and little clamps and beads and just stuff. Just, that's what this drawer is, okay? I was going to label the drawers, and some of them do have labels, but I did not. I ran out of labels. I didn't anticipate needing them, and I just didn't think what to pick them up. So this one's my big staple gun, staples. I have a little stapler, but I think somebody borrowed it, took it upstairs, and never brought it back down. So it will live in the drawer whenever it does come home, and my tin snips or my snips. These things are awesome. They cut those, um, those wire flowers and stuff. Just easy peasy. I think they call these lineman pliers is what they call them. I don't know. I love these. Um, those are on Depot. That's where I got those. In this drawer, we have my little containers of small things. And, uh... The snowflake ornaments, obviously. I saved these. I have stuff pinned to do with these, but that's what All containers of just little stuff. Just little stuff. Okay. Little tiny things. Next, where we have my fancy circle punch that I finally paid full price for at Michael's, but I love it. I love it. More um, clothespins and little pom poms, little clothespins, and some little bead thingies. And these, I have an idea to do Christmas ornaments on. I have some paper print out things that I want to montage on wooden planks to make ornaments out of, but I only have enough for, mm, these can't be 
I don't have enough for 12 ornaments and I need more than 12, so that's my uncle drawer. But this drawer, ring light, which I clearly am not using, three hole punch, three text gloves, not only text gloves, gloves, I'm allergic to latex, and construction paper. I put construction paper down and make my project so I don't mess my tables up. Okay. This is my Poshmark drawer. It has like stickers, thank you stickers, and stuff that you're supposed to sell out your tissue paper with. That's not very clear, I'll show you. Oh, okay. This one, gift tags. That's what I said it was, huh? Tape. Woo! Hey, hey now. Back in your seat, sir. Tape of all kinds. Okay. This one has, uh, these are those light things. My mom gave us these one here that you stick them wherever they light up. Woo! They're actually very handy. I have them in the closet so that I can see. They um have like little sticky things you can stick them on the wall or whatnot. There's a plate hanger. I'm sure I have a reason for that, but I don't know what it is. And my larger clamps, Allen wrench, two screwdrivers. These are my shiny little stickers. And then some of these stickers. I don't know why I have these ones. I don't remember what I got them for. Probably on my Pinterest. And these are the wooden, these are wood, these are wood. Off from Dollar Tree. Blue drawer. All kinds. Uh, birds and butterflies. Uh, some ribbon. These are the, um, these are felt. Hearts. And I made garland out of these for Valentine's for over my door in the living room. I did one just to see if I was gonna like it, and I really did, so I need to do uh, more. So that's what these are for. Just again, haven't done it. These little jars have those little wooden laser things that Dollar Tree has. All different, all different kinds. You see them? They're just so cool. And they come in a pack of like three or whatever. I just ordered them. These little jars because I'm extra. Uh, pipe cleaners and the pipes. Uh, cards, books, things that I intend to cut up and use to mod podge or do something with. These are paintable things that I still have not painted. Ugh. Doilies and hoops because I was going to do. I saw it on the Pinterest, so they hooked a bunch of these hoops together and did the doilies and made sort of like a boho headboard thingy. And it looked so beautiful, and I wanted it, and then I just sort of moved away from it. So now these are living here, but I have seen, and it's on my Pinterest again, where they take these and they put the doilies over a canvas that you painted and, and kind of glue them down, and they're so, just so pretty. And the doilies are pretty, so I'm just, those are down there for whatever I finally decide to do. Okay, let's move over. Move over. Okay. Over here we have uh, this little thing. This plate's up too. It's a bright, it's a bright man, my camera. Um, stuff office stuff and chapstick chapstick is office i have chapstick everywhere and the tape for gift me. so these are the metal doors that work was thrown away because we used to sort documents and stuff that we had to go out for exporting and everything's online now so we didn't really need the drawers and i said well if you're gonna throw them out i would love to take them home so that is what your girl did i'm sure i showed this this did not change but this is wood stuff for crafting it is what it says it is wood there you go wood and little stuff that i plan to these are like old gift cards and just tags and stuff um they're so cute the designs are so cute i haven't figured out what i'm gonna do with them yet but i'm gonna like some extra little check ribbon i'll just store it in here for now uh pom pom makers and i have thrifted this uh it's not a yo-yo maker it makes like you take ribbon or fabric or whatever and you sew it and you make flower petals out of it it's like a flower petal maker that will also go in here uh transfer rubble transfer from Bellatree, and uh that one i've thrifted i have not used them yet but i have them and just odds and stickers cards and things like that for my handy dandy punch i need to i love making amazing ornaments and these are all kinds of stuff that i have printed out with the intention of cutting out and doing some sort of ornament and or canvas type of deal or something at some point so this is all kinds of stuff Okay, this one, my cutting mat and my tools, my rolly cutters through there, my styrofoam cutters, my drill bit. I use that like a nice pick of things. It's pretty heavy, and when I need to poke a hole in something, I just jab it in works in a crochet hook. Sometimes I crochet twine to do something. Uh, these are the hanging backs put on frames and whatnot, and eye hooks and some wire. I think the rest, yeah, the rest of this is just paper. I have paper and paper and paper and paper, all that, all kinds of paper. There's a big canvas, and my paint is still up there being paint. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And my sign is still there, and I have asked Tia very, very kindly if she would do me something for this wall in Buffalo Check, so that uh, I can move this to the other wall, and it's still in theme with what I have going here. So these little pictures I will probably end up moving over there on the other wall and find something else to put here, if she does that. Um, okay, moving right along, we have my phone holder, a uh, jar of hearts, because colored pencils with beads, pom-poms. There are more of these pom-poms um, for the Grinch ornaments. I asked my husband, well, we went to several stores, tried to find these particular sparkly pom-poms, and nobody had them, and I needed them. So I told him, please go on Amazon and order me those specifically. Well, I didn't specify how many I needed, so I have a lot. Of these pom poms, there's a whole other bag over it. You'll see. Uh, wood, not wood, these glass block things. Old ornaments that I use for crafting. I don't even know what this is, to be honest with you. Oh, okay, these are the wooden leaves. Okay, tissue for my issues. Here's my and Y'all, I just said I didn't have any labels. And look, look, that tells you right there I didn't look in the store. And then there's no more glue. My goodness. Okay, so let's leave these right here. So, glue sticks. Let's put those in the other glue drawer. You know what? Let's do it right now because I don't organize this. Back over here. Glue in the glue drawer. Uh -uh, I did it. Y'all be proud of me. Be proud. Be proud of me. Put those on my labels and I'll put my labels back in here so they're organized. I didn't even open this. Pins and hooks and stuff and things. More hearts. Goodness. More pins. And this I use underneath the glue gun, the cordless glue gun. I just so want to lay it down if it drips. It drips on this. That's what that's. <coughs> that's what that's. I gotta get something right here. Hold on. Mm. I'm trying to hurry up. And this drawer we have glitter. This is some of my glitter. Glitter, glitter. A little um, beaker of a blue pearl bead thingy. These are. Oh, are these called the mortars or these are the pestle is the thing that you use to mash your herbs and drugs with. Anyway, they were telling me the way it worked because the other, the squishy bit, the thing that you used to, to squish in this bowl was broken. And they didn't sell this particular size. And so I brought these home and I use these when I paint or glue, like super glue or easy 1000 I sit it down here so that I can clean up fairly easily. So that's what I'm <coughs> uh, glitter. 
more just glassy. So you know the, the noses on the Grinch ornaments this year are these well, glass rock things on the Dollar Tree. It's gonna be okay. Uh, glitter. Snowy glitter. Look at that. Fancy. Um, red, red bead things. Green bead things. Some rickrack. These burlap canvases, I uh, pinned some sort of project and they've been in here ever since. Uh, working for a living is just, it's cutting into my craft time. I thrifted that. I didn't have an intention for it, but I thrifted it anyway. Some rickrack. Uh, hooks. And shiny bits. Shiny bits. This is that uh, mesh ribbon stuff that you put on. So that's it. These are shower, or these are hooks for like hook, cartoon hooks that they can put whatever. I think I got them because I was going to do something in Kira's room for her, and then she decided on something else, so we never did use them, but like, I kept them because I'm like, as soon as I get rid of them, I'll need them. Uh, more of that snow that didn't fit in there. And then a whole container that used to have glitter, but I'm out of glitter. My glitter drawer is getting, it's getting low, y'all. Can't believe it either. Uh, these are bigger paints. I won't put up there. Mod Podge spray, sealer, uh, red paint, paint stain. Obviously, that would be a glass cleaner. This is my paint bucket and my painting plate. So, this solo cups I use for painting and my wipe off, cups and salt, which I'm going to be using on my next project. Dede wipes. There's some, this is glitter glue, so it was down here. Glitter glue paint, so that's down here. Swabs for painting and a damper, bungee damp, and my, I should have got another thing, a Mod Podge. I was at the Walmart, but I did not. That's what's my door. Okay. These drawers, uh, all of these specimen jars, specimen cups. I'm going to need you to get your seat, sir. All the attitude is not needed. Got my own, thank you very much. All these buttons. Button, 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 buttons, all kinds of buttons. More buttons, more buttons. These are like fancy buttons. They're like special looking buttons. But I like using the buttons on. Um, a lot of people don't button flowers, which I want to do. I've not done. I certainly have enough buttons to choose from. And when uh, I do the twine Easter eggs, put the ribbon around it, and put a fancy button in the middle. Let's do it. These are old magic bands from our very first Disney trip. Now we have fancy ones. And I don't know what to do with these. I'm just not the only way. I haven't figured it out yet. So these live here. Sunflowers, uh, red truck, some leaves from little art button thing I do. Broken ornament that I intend to do something with, and uh, I don't know. I don't know. I mean, these are ornaments. I know what they are. I just don't know why. I didn't think about dowels. I need to go on Pinterest. These are here for reason. I just can't tell you what it is right now. Good lord, this thing is taking forever. Big work of towels. And this thing, you know, used to be out and about. I decided to put it in a drawer. It's all kinds of ornaments and stuff that I picked up for projects and just little bits and bobs. I'm a collector of bits and bobs, so that's what that is. Boom. Now, let's come over to y'all. Ribbon is still ribbon. Mm hmm, mm hmm. Ribbon, ribbon, twine, all that is in this general area. There was some more there, you saw. My cup is trying to fall. Let's save that. This is a container full of broken jewelry and things that I use. Uh, this, uh, I told you earlier, I picked up at the Dollar Tree to hold things. That's exactly what it's doing. Markers, pins, a couple of scissors, whole bunch, and tweezers, and the thing that I use to hold when I'm gluing stuff. Paint brushes. These pipe clamp thingies. I don't know why I have them. I've texted my niece to see if her husband wants them because he does woodworking. Um, these are the salt shakers that I'm going to use for my snowman army, except for this one. This one I found right after my brother died. He loved all things Mason, and I intend on making button flowers to put in this and just put it out. But I have not. But right now it's literally without the other salt shaker so it doesn't get lonely. It's up there. These are like metal things that I've thrifted with the intention of making ornaments or some such kind of um, Christmas craft with. So that's what that is. Those are there. Okay. This has napkins for much pudding or if I spill stuff, which you know I do. That has Mason Jar Ring from Lyric. These, this one, tumbling tower blocks. This one is just metal words. Just words. It's been a words. This has fall themes for fall crafts. Uh, beads. Basically, you cut those off whatever size, color I need. I go there for beads. All right. Over here we have <coughs> pickle mothering, uh, glass things, photo jars. Oh my god, that's bedtime. Eggs. I'm gonna make the basket red. I did. I did decide to do that, but I didn't do it today. Uh, rocks. Polyfill. In there. This has all sorts of picks and things for projects. There's these um, mush mushrooms. I can pick up now. Cotton. Cotton. More mushrooms and some moss. All that's in there. Moving along, we have shelves of. You can see what it is. It's stuff. Okay. Basket pine cones. And here we have more straws, some trash box, some gloves. I don't need all these gloves. I don't know why I have them, but I do. So stuff. Mm -hmm, stuff. I didn't really organize everything. More of those skewer things. Balls. Okay, this one has vintage hangers, like the straight hangers that you hang canvases and stuff from. Um, and then lights. This is uh, moss. There's an Easter egg I have decorated. Some wood stems and some pegs that I saved in a light bulb. Like, okay, light bulb. These are plastic uh, lids. Too. They were for specimen cups, we don't sell them anymore, and they're gonna toss all these rings. And I'm like, well, if I ever run out of mason jar lids, I can always use these ornaments. So, I mean, they're light, so I rescue them. I have to use them. Uh -huh. Look, that's the rest of those pom poms. Look at all that. I never tell you, you need a ton of you will buy you a ton sand. And this is my plastic tablecloth that I put on the table when I'm painting plates, bowls, and things that I also use when I'm painting or glittering. That's what that is. Okay, this we empty this. I don't know what comes in this at work, but they end up with these empty containers constantly. So, instead of throwing them out. We take them home, and instead of using gift bags for things, I put tissue paper in here, and I give this. So, I have used many, many of these. <coughs> and I prefer for little toys for kids. I still have not painted the jewelry box that I wanted. And that is a box that my daughter said she was going to paint for me, and never did. So, it's you know. This is a candle plate that I don't know what I'm going to do with it, so it lives here. This is my bucket where I glitter pine cones, and there's some glitter pine cones waiting for birds to be at the top. These 
I used to have on the shelves, but I got some more of these uh, Black Boy Check Band and swapped those out. Again, these are things that need to be glued or fixed and project pieces that I have not completed. So that's why they're there. This dresser is empty styrofoam, a candle ring to do stuff with, and just stuff, forms of stuff to fill with the self contained. Ah, there's a list to those. And more styrofoam and containers for things. This is, this is cheap, but it's empty. It's empty. Calm down. You didn't hurt it. I don't buy foam anymore. I just kind of cut what I need. You just hold test tubes in case you want. Test tubes. And that bottom door is also test tubes. Okay, the bottom door of this one I will not open because I use to house things that I pick up for people's Christmas. So I want to open that one. That one is that stuff in there. These are pan layer stuff. I have stuff pinned on interest to do. And my, my goal is to, to finally do this stuff and uh, clear this out so this can be where I store the things because I shop all year for gifts for Christmas and then it can live in there in here. And I know where it's at. Same thing with this drawer. These are supposed to be turned into pumpkins and I did not. Uh, and now I'm going to turn this into garland and did not. But yeah. This one holds fabric. Fabric. Yay, fabric. And got a basket of Christmas ornaments. This houses all of my um, picks and flowers and things of that nature. My husband's hoarding cardboard again. Here's my tree. Stays up your room. And on this side, I forgot to look at. I'm just going to tell you. Oh, my bottle brush tree. Look at that. And my styrofoam uh, snowman heads. That's what they're going to be. They're just balls right now. More <coughs> fabric. I should probably put in the doors all together. And these things are still safe and don't know why. And then the last thing is the rack. It used to be blue. I finally painted it red to hold on my wreath forms. And that, ladies and gentlemen and weirdos all, over, all around, is the end. This is the end of my craft room tour. I just draped this fabric on here for now because I just didn't have any me to <coughs> recover it the proper way. But I will. But it's on there. So you get the idea. So there you have it. I showed you everything and now I'm gonna mess it up again. But you saw it. You saw everything put away. And I'm not doing this again because let's say this thing's 30 minutes. That's enough. None of y'all even watching this at this point. But I'm gonna go. Be good to yourselves, each other, and uh, happy crafting.